in five minutes and one cool effect, I can get your microphone from sounding like this to sounding more like this. Stay tuned. Okay, hey, we're back. First video in the new place. I mentioned it in my last one that I'm moving. I'm still moving. I like I got I got bins of just stuff here and this closet's full that needs to be like organized. But we're working on it. Uh hopefully the audio doesn't sound too bad. I know like my channel is kind of just blown up based on microphone audio. It's hardwood everywhere and I have like no art up, so it might sound I'm talking a little quiet because of it. I don't want it to be too echoey here. Bear with me here. We're going back to voice meter. It's 2021. I have I have better gear. I think I could do this better. Um, I don't want to be pinned down by voice meter. I don't want to be the voice meter channel, but it, you know, we could do a new guide. I got no problem with this. I can help you out a little bit more, make it a cleaner, more fluid tutorial. I think I can get this done pretty quickly. Okay, so with the intro, I had the Blue Yeti, but this works with any mic. I'm using the Rode NT1. I'm doing the same thing with whatever mic I'm using. So you don't need to leave in the comments like, okay, cool, what should I do if I have the Procaster or whatever? It's the same. We're using the software voice meter, and there's one effect called the IntelliPan effect within voice meter. That is the bread and butter. That is all that we care about with this video. Voice meter can do quite a bit more, and I might make uh, more videos about that later. But for right now, we just want to worry about the IntelliPan effect. So we'll get into it. I will do a screen share so you guys can follow along. Okay, so we're going to the voice meter software. We're going to go with voice meter banana. So they have the regular voice meter and then they have one that's potato. That's the premium premium or like the has the most features. I don't care about potato. It's more than I need. I go with banana. So you can download the exe file so you don't have to unzip it for whatever it's worth. I mean, obviously it'll send it to your desktop. Some people have had issues in the past where the files won't show up in their computer. They'll download it and they can't find it anywhere. Try restarting your PC. That might fix it for you. Okay. So your voice meter is going to look quite a bit different than mine, how it is right now. If you want to, you can pause the video and just do a compare spot the differences between mine and yours click all the buttons do the things it's it's this is like a children's software it's so it's so easy i can't reset mine because this is how i'm recording my audio but i'll still go through the steps here so i guess the first thing i should mention is you're going to be changing your windows default audio output and input devices it's super easy takes two seconds but the reason i need to mention this is that when you're setting this up on your computer you're probably going to lose audio. So I would suggest coming back to this video, pulling it up on your cell phone or an iPad or something, and then following the tutorial there because you're going to have issues. You won't be able to hear what I'm saying. Maybe you could open the transcript or something, but it'd be easier if you follow along on your phone. So go do that now if you have if you're not already doing this. We have voice meter. Again, yours probably looks different from mine. First two things you gotta do. We have the hardware input section, which is right here. If you right click it, you can rename it NT1 because that's my mic. You just got to left click it and then select WDM and then whatever microphone it is you're using. If you have KS, select KS. Pro you probably don't though. So do WDM your microphone. Then we want to select your headphones. This is where you might lose audio if you're still on your PC. So go to the A1 section over here and then select your headphones. I have multiple sources. So I have my speakers on A1 and on A2 I have my headphones and then on A3 I have a virtual cable. So now you have your microphone and your headphones set up with voice meter. Now you want to make this your default settings on Windows. So go to your sound icon in the Windows bar, right click, sounds, start at playback, all the way down to voice meter. Do voice meter input, not voice meter aux input. Go to recording, the exact same thing. And with both of these, you're going to want to make it your default device. Super easy. Okay, we're good. So now that you have that done, you're going to have all, all this is going to look entirely different as far as what is grayed out and what is green. The A1, A2, A3, this is what you're hearing. So whatever ha whatever sections here you have clicked A1 and A2 and A3, that's what you're hearing. So if you have under your microphone clicked A1 on, then you will be hearing yourself speaking into your microphone. To turn that off, all you got to do is click it off. So then your desktop audio, you only want it to be going to your headphones. 
So unclick B1 and B2 if those are on, and then click A3, A2, A1. So this is how it should look up. My microphone is only going to my microphone settings, not my headphones. My headphones are only going to my headphones, not my microphone. So one thing you could do is you could turn B1, B2 on, and then essentially be a, a music bot in Discord or something. There are more things you would need to change to make it perfect, but that's just an example of how this could work. So hopefully you have your mic selected, you have it as your default. If you watch a YouTube video, then these bars will be jumping up green and gray. Your microphone should be coming in. I'm looking right here, so I can tell that it's picking up my voice. Okay, above that, we have the IntelliPan effect. So this is what I was talking about. The box should be gray. When it's gray, that means the effect is turned off. I just drag it from the center and then down a little bit. This is probably the most amount of effect that I would want to add to it. I'll drag it around so you can hear. A lot of people would bring it as low as possible. This sounds terrible. Less is more. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Don't do not drag, drag it to any of the corners. It should be close to the center and then off, off center just a little bit. That's probably the most I would want to do. Even this might sound ridiculous. So less is more, but a, a little bit goes a long way here, okay? It will make your mic sound better, but please don't get carried away. And that's literally it. This is the number one reason to get voice meter, in my opinion. This effect, it really, it really beefs up a lot of microphones. Okay, so to have this effect running, you need voice meter to constantly be on. So go to your menu, turn on system tray, and then turn on run on Windows startup. You can exit it, it will, st it will still be going. Furthermore, I'm just gonna cover my base, bases here because I know a lot of people will say that they hear crackling. It's a, it can be a buggy software, it's not perfect. There are two things, mostly with the it not showing up when you download, and then also when you get into Discord, your voice starts crackling. So one way you can change this is to go into your system settings, change, so match these settings. You can pause it if you want, look at all my settings, change it to this. Mostly what we're looking at is the sample rate being at 48,000 hertz. Just set it to that, okay. Then we're gonna go back to our sound. We'll go to our recording. Um, and now I'm, now you should change all of your microphones, go to properties, go to advanced, and then make sure that everything lines up with 48,000 hertz, okay? So, and then also click off, allow applications to take exclusive controls. So do that with all of the sound, whatever, the, the microphones, the sound cards, everything you're using. So make sure it's all set to 48,000 hertz. That will hopefully maybe after you restart your pc a few times maybe a day later I, it's weird i don't know i wish i had like a hundred percent guarantee this will fix it immediately i haven't had issues in months but when i did it it took a day like one day and then i haven't had issues ever since so maybe it's because i restarted my pc a few times i don't really know but this is what worked for me okay and i feel like that's it Again, it's not that complicated. If you guys need help, there will be a link in the description to my Discord. Please come hang out, say hi. There's a dedicated FAQ text channel in my Discord that has screenshots and you can download my settings specifically. So head on over there, take a look at the FAQ. If you really need help, reach out, shoot me a message on Discord. I respond to comments pretty quickly as well. All right, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I think I just hit like 1,500 subs or something. My Discord's about to reach 500 members. That's that's crazy. I don't know. That's amazing. It is wild. That's fucking crazy. Okay, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. I'm out.